Hello, my name is Stefan and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to transfer your Minecraft Bedrock Worlds over to the Java edition of the game. So um, you're going to need a few different applications. You're going to need obviously Minecraft Java and one of the versions of a Bedrock Edition. This can be your iPhone version, this can be the Android version, this can be the Windows 10 version. Hell, if even if you're that desperate, you can do the Xbox version. Uh, they have to be Bedrock. Um, maybe I'll do a different video on Legacy Console Editions, uh, but this video is mainly going to be talking about uh, Bedrock Worlds. Um, and then you're going to need another application called MCC Tool Chest PE. And this, I will leave in the link in the description, but it's a pretty simple application to get. You just want to search it up on Google, MCC Tool Chest. Um, and you'll find either, when you search up MCC Tool Chest, it'll either pop up the download links or the actual website. Um, you can click on either one, it doesn't matter. Uh, if you do click on the actual website, you just want to click on Beer in the Downloads, and then you want to click on the Bedrock version. Um, again, I'll do a different video on the old um, the Legacy Console Edition, so yeah. Um, and after that, you just want to install it like normal. It should be a normal standard install. I think it's the old Windows installer, so it's not that hard. You just want to click Next a bunch of times and then press Install. And after you do that, you want to open up Minecraft. Um, so, yeah, after that, you just want to click and open up Minecraft. And I'm going to show you the world real quick that I am going to transfer over. We'll do, um, we'll do this world. We'll do this one of my old building worlds from like 2017. Um, I think this would be a nice good world to check out as it's a nice simple flat world and it's not that big so it won't you know destroy my CPU because I'm recording on it. Um, I'm just gonna real quickly pan around the world so that way you get an idea of what is in the world uh, before I go and do everything. So here is the world as you can see we got a few different things. I mean, we got the spawn point, which is made out of uh, stone brick. We got a bunch of signs right here. You know, with a bunch of my friends' names on it from back in the day. We got this, which has broken signs on it. Uh, more signs, there's a lot of signs. Now, one thing I'm going to show real quick, and this will be a demonstration. Basically, signs are kind of weird. So if you want signs to transfer over, you can't do this. As you see on Bedrock Edition, when you transfer, when you do type in signs, you can see that it, I even though I didn't press enter, it still transferred over. So that basically doesn't work. That doesn't transfer over. And if you do, you have to do, if you do want the signs to transfer over, you'll have to actually press enter manually um, it's a pretty simple but random thing. I don't know why it doesn't work. It just does, but I'll show you that this doesn't work while the other one does. Um, so yeah, this should go out as far as the world goes and it should transfer over properly. So if this is a flat world, it should transfer to a flat world. If it's a, uh, a normal world it should transfer to a normal world so yeah it's pretty just that's just simple that's all I wanted to show you of that world it's a really small world and that's why I wanted to show it off um, afterwards now let me go back to my desktop um, now we want to actually open the program um, so this program has two different ways you can either transfer bedrock worlds to Java Edition, or you can transfer Java Worlds to Bedrock Edition. Uh, we're gonna do the uh, the Bedrock to Java World. That's why I went on Bedrock Edition. You just wanna click on up here on the tools. You wanna go to Convert, and you wanna click on to Java. Um, if you're transferring to Java to Bedrock, you wanna go to to Bedrock. So from Java to Bedrock to Bedrock to from Bedrock to Java to Java. 
it's a confusing thing. Just yeah, bear with it. Um, it will open up your saves folder. If you have a world that's on a USB, um, let's say you transferred the world from your iPhone or something, or your Android phone, um, you just want to click on select folder, and then you want to click on one of the folders and just click select folder, and that's all you're going to do for that. Um, since I am transferring this from my Windows 10 edition from the game, I will be collecting on the world that's on here. So. Yeah, it should pop up another window, like so. And in here, you just want to click on the the, cert the dimensions that you want to, you want to just click on certain things that you want to transfer over. So there's the nether, there's the end. You can include different entities. So if you want stuff like block entities, which I believe are chests and signs and item frames and that sort of thing, you can have that. They're automatically selected by default. Normal entities would be something like a cow, a pig, creeper, so, yeah. Um, you can replace biomes. This this means that you can just do something along the lines of uh, one of the biomes. So let's say a snowy taiga hills. You can turn that into a desert or an ocean, that sort of thing. I'm not going to do that, but yeah, you can do that. There is an offset thing meaning you can basically change what coordinates are what. I don't know why you would want to do this, but maybe there's some way to do it. Uh, conversion type. This uh, this one require if you have a, a, a less fast PC, if you have a bad PC, you know, a slow PC, you want to click on the safe. If you have a pretty decent computer, I mean, I have an okay PC and I can do fast. It's just this. Um, this is your CPU. How much CPU it's going to use. So if it's on fast, it'll go faster, but it'll use more CPU. If it's on safe, it'll use less CPU and it'll go less. And it'll go slow. So, yeah. Uh, convert to is whatever version of Minecraft you want to convert it to. So, if you want to convert it to 1.12, you can do that. 1.13, you can do that. 1.14, you can also do that. That's what that is. Um, Level to dot. This is for more advanced users. You can change basically your MBT data, um, stuff like the border size, um, the daytime, the difficulty, the generator name, the seed, um, the, the time again, the version, wandering sp trader chance. That's what you can change if it's hardcore. Um, you can change the data packs, dimension data, game rules, player, um, and then the version as well. So I believe player, you can do all of this. That's what that is. And then you can change it to uh, this. It's more advanced players. I'm not entirely sure what all it does. And then last but not least, there's the set chunk status. You can uh, turn this to... I don't know what this means, honestly. I guess you can mess around with it. I'm not going to mess around with it because I want to actually show this working. So yeah, most of these are pretty much default except for the dimensions. I'm transferring all the dimensions over, but this is pretty much default. Um, after you're done messing around with all the settings over here, you just want to click convert. It should start converting like so. The bigger the world, the more chunks it has to convert. That's pretty much simple. And yeah, after it's done, it'll pop this, and you're done. So now, you can close out of the app, and I'm going to go open up Minecraft, and I'm going to show you what happens in there. Alright, so, we are now inside of Minecraft Java Edition, as you can see. And pretty much, as you can see right here, it says, uh, Building World. So, yeah. Um... As you can see, it transferred over. I'm going to go out into the world so I can show you that it did indeed transfer over with very minimal changes to it. All right, so as you can see, it is now transferred the world over. Um, and yeah, so you can see pretty much everything is still here. You can see there are indeed the signs, although it looks like actually the signs, some signs did transfer over.
but you can see right, right, right here. The enter signs are the signs that were automatically entered, did not transfer over correctly. All of the signs that I did manually press enter on did transfer over. So yeah, one thing is that the game rules has been reset. I used to have mob spawning off, but as you can see, mob spawning is back on. So you will need to change that. Uh, color beds are gone. Uh, I noticed that. That's something I did not know that existed, but these are all meant to have a bunch of different colors on it. But as you can see, that is not the case anymore. Um, but yeah, so you can you can very clearly see that the the world did transfer over. Like I said um, before, there is a very small differences um, when transferring from Bedrock to Java. Uh, stairs break for some odd reason and you have to update it by putting a block next to it like so. I don't know why this is the case. Um, you, your guess is as good as mine, but yeah, they just don't transfer over for some reason on this one and it's it's very weird. Although, old school me kind of had a bit of a different idea when it came to this world, so I don't think it really affects too much with this, because I didn't really use too much stairs. But for more complicated builds, I think it would definitely in it would definitely mess up that. Like, for instance, this, you know, you can kind of just see, oh wow, there's a giant hole right there in this totally not rep copied from the, the Minecraft instruction book house. You get my point. Um, you can see the fire over here on this uh, castle, work in progress castle, is still here. This is meant to be a castle. And yeah, if I went into the nether, the nether would work. And yeah, that's pretty much showing that off. Um, that's pretty much it for this. Um, it's a pretty cool application, you can do a lot. You can do a lot of transferring over with this. I think it's kind of cool. For um, if you did notice, my world, my character data has not transferred over. In fact, I didn't. I actually, cut, I actually cut it out. I didn't play when I spawned into the world, but um, I spawned in in survival mode, and yeah, that's not really meant to happen. <laughs> You know, because it's a creative world, you know, it's meant to spawn you in creative. And as you can see, I don't have any of my stuff anymore, so yeah. Um, hopefully it does help you out. I don't recommend this if you're just going to transfer your worlds over to continue a survival series or something. Like if you're trying to transfer your survival world over to bed, to console edition, console edition, job edition, I don't think this would be the best application for you. Um, so, yeah. Um, oh, I didn't even notice this. I thought these weren't like this, but those are rotated actually as well. Um, I can prove that command blocks don't work either. As you can see, these command blocks, they, this is meant to have a teleport command that teleports you up, up there. It doesn't have that. Redstone does work, you can see. Although it is, Technically, it is um, Java Redstone now, so certain things don't work. Like, for instance, for some reason, this is totally different. And <laughs> that doesn't work. But um, it is now obviously Java Red Redstone instead of Bedrock Redstone, which is slightly different. Um, I say slightly different, but I believe it's really different. Apparently there's a creeper explosion back here, and I did renew. Um, you can see the railings transferred over. I'm going to stop trying to transfer it so it doesn't become a really long video and becomes boring. Well, because of the video, I shall see you next time. Peace out.